Welcome back, it's Vampire's Mods. We're gonna do how to uh, get modded saves from Audio 5. Um, awesome program. I recommend it for anyone who has an Xbox 360. I don't know if it works on PlayStation, you can try it. Uh, first things first, you're gonna have to make an account. I have one already, I'm already signed in. Very easy. This is the very first thing that pops up. You're gonna come down here where it says open save and you're going to click on that then you want to gonna come up to either browse or download saves so I would go with this one because it just makes it a lot easier go to popular it'll search for uh, different games and such if you're looking for a specific game you just hit search that'll be a lot easier for you Most popular, you got these ones, speed mods, uh, money for that game, you can get cool Minecraft maps, Modern Warfare 2, uh, all these games. Anyway, what you're going to do is just click on one that you want, and you're going to read it, if you like it, and you like the way it looks, and get it. You're going to come over here where it says download click on download what it'll do is it'll download the game save you're gonna need a USB drive make sure you have the USB drive and you put your save from your Xbox to the USB drive um, most of you should know how to do that if you're even watching this video once the save is downloaded it should uh, pop something up oh god unit reviews on uh, if the save is any good or not. This is how many likes it has. It's got a good amount of likes. Alright, then you're gonna get to this page. I don't have a USB drive plugged in, but if you do, you're gonna plug it in right here and yeah, this is for Xbox 360, I'm sorry, but um plug that in and you're gonna click right around here and you will save it to your uh your flash drive. Um, as soon as you're done with that, you've basically just downloaded your game save. Um, sometimes it could either override your previous game save, like most games. If it's Minecraft, it'll just add the save. So it depends on the game, really, on if it deletes, or if it overwrites, or if it, uh, just adds the game save. So that's just something to keep in mind on uh, what you want to do there. 